Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again. You would write me, Len Farmer, live. Well, at least this is going to be kind of like a montage of live clips uh, put together by me, Len herself, and Laurent Bouinot. Um, taking it back to 1989. This is going to be early, guys. Early. First first time ever reacting to this. And uh, according to a Patreon subscriber, said that this is a very, very special, special um, um, introduction to me, Len. Um, with the prologue and La Horge, uh, which translates to the clock, um, I'll be doing that. Um, and I want to know what you guys think. I mean, this is gonna, be, this is probably gonna be really, really amazing. Um, and, and let's see what they they've got for me. Um, and if this this little um, snippet makes it into the um, approval status, find me on Spotify where all my uh, Derek reacts approved Me Len songs and other other ones uh, that that uh, I've approved in the past are there. I'll be updating that list regularly so uh if you don't find it right away um just be patient it'll make it it'll make it it'll make it so yes guys can't wait to get my hands on this before we get into the video please take a moment comment like and subscribe i love to your feedback makes videos like these all the more possible and also take a moment to follow me and like me both on instagram and on facebook and if you're new to the channel guys welcome i also have a patreon link down below be sure to check that out when you get a chance help support my channel makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible all right guys without further ado let's go It's already dark. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, that's pretty cool. Almost looks like Stonehenge. Look at this. It's almost like you you hear gates opening, right? You hear some crying there. So many people. So you hear a lot of kind of like um, environmental effects, uh, you know, and this is a remaster, confidential remaster is called. And as we as we approach this prologue and this introduction, we get the sense of this very dark and eerie kind of like presence that's around us, um, setting the mood and stage for it. That, that almost looks like Stonehenge, guys, by the way. I know I've been repeating myself, but you see fences, you see gates, hearing gates, you hear kind of like kid babies and kids crying. Um, uh, screams, just a lot of dark and environmental stuff, always, always setting up a stage for something grand. And this is what Milan's known for from the very beginning, guys, 1989. Look at this, 1989, right from the beginning. And you almost kind of get, kind of get like a sinister, you know, feel, you know, dark, dark and eerie. Uh. Eighties guys, it's amazing. Look at that. Wow. Mainland, mainland. Wow. Oof, got chills. I don't know why. Oh, look at this. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh Enter at your own risk. 
<laughs> oh my god. There's some people passing out there. Um, this reminds me a lot of MJ. Uh, when I use, when I see a lot of MJ videos, people are like passing out and they just can't help themselves. I mean, the amount of intensity and adrenaline that's running through these people's veins. Think about it. Think about it. But um, these cloaked men opening, kind of like gatekeepers, opening the gates, almost kind of like like giving you this 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 uh, this this visual and this this meaning, deeper meaning that you know this is gonna be entering at your own risk. Prepare for something big and grand. She ain't playing. She ain't playing. She always does this. Always does this. And this is what I love about her. So glad I'm back to seeing Amila live. I'm so glad seeing her live. Um, a lot of instrumentals. A lot of instrumentals. And you hear kind of like animals, children crying. A lot of echoing too at the same time. This is what she's known for. This is what she's known for. And then I clock. I clock. Love the guitar. Look at this! Oh my god! Chills. Wow! How this baby comes in! How this baby comes in! Amazing! Love the silhouette effect and the light effect that she, that she did for this. Love it, love it. And then you see kind of, she probably has like a bunch of fans blowing, blowing her, her, um, you know, she has like a gown or something with, with, with just everything just standing like that. Just epic, epic. And if you pay closely attention, it almost looks like an M. Kind of like an, either an upside down M or something like that. There is so cool. So cool of the visuals. There was a guy in the corner there. I don't know if that was orchestration or um, some guy playing an instrument. It seems like it. Maybe she's like surrounded by them. But this is just grand, guys. Grand. It's so different. Um, it's not... It's not... Um, doesn't have a very wow factor. It doesn't have like a very like, oh my gosh, I'm just losing losing all my marbles. No, it's not like that. But the thing is, you have to think about its time and the setting and where, 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 where you know, it's 1980 something. And this is just the beginning, the beginning of what's to come, you know, of what the, the, the journey, the journey that's about to unfold. Think about it, guys, for a minute. Think about it. You know, it's just so good, so good. And the instrumentation, sick, sick instrumentation. I believe I've, I've reacted to this song before by the way. Um, you hear the ticking of the clock, you hear that, along with the guitars and um, the synths. It's just, it's just great, great all around. Uh, Souviens-toi que le temps est un joueur avide qui 
gagne sans tricher, à tout coup c'est la loi. Le jour des croix, la nuit augmente, souviens-toi, le bouffera toujours soif, la clepsydre se vide. Souviens-toi, souviens-toi, souviens-toi. De vertu, ton épouse encore vierge, ou le repentir même, la dernière auberge. So, so very, very young Milan, very, very young Milan. So different, so different to be seen this. Um, this is this is probably a very, very rare clip. Very, very clip. I mean, it doesn't even have that many hits. Um, uh, I wonder if you guys know about this. You guys must know about this. The clock, clock, sinister uh, god, terrifying and impassive, whose finger threatens us and says, remember, the quivering sorrows will be soon shot into your faithful heart and into its target. Nebulous pleasure will flee towards the horizon like an actress who disappears into the wings. Every instant devours a piece of pleasure granted by every man of its entire season. So these lyrics are just amazing. She's amazing. And when she's singing this, it's very conversational. Almost like she's just speaking. It's not really like, it's not really almost like singing, singing. Yes, she is, but it's not so much. And I probably said that before in the last reaction. But I love it. I love how you see there in the beginning, um, the, 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 the hand with the clock. And then it doesn't really get into that clock phase until the actual song starts. You know, when she comes out. You know, it's so cool. Oh, it's so good. So good to be seen. Black veal. She's sporting a lot of black. To start off, this is a good song to begin um, a concert. I may just have to delve deep into this whole concert. I might have to delve deep. I, there's other songs that are on this. If you guys want me to keep going, going, I will go further into this, um, and I'll just come, kind of like release them in segments, uh, little by little, because there it's very. Um, if I do the whole thing, it's 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 too it's overbear. It's just too much. It's overwhelming. Um, and I've done that before, but it's just way a lot of editing, a lot of a lot of, a lot of time to do. But let me know. Let me know down below. Il est trop tard. Oh. Oh. Oh, here's a ponytail. A base. Next base. Look at that. Oh. Incredible. Yeah, it's the whole concert. It's the whole concert. It's, just, it's truly spectacular to be seeing this and witnessing. If you're a fan, guys, if you're a fan, you must see this. So dark. I'm going to go dark wave, synth wave, whatever you want to call it, synth poppy. Um, it's just very, very synthy, very, very synthy. Um, but you get all those elements. You get the pop elements. You get the eeriness from the gates and that cloaked, that cloaked man man or woman, you know, arriving to the gates as he opens it up and then it just kind of like opens up like that. She comes in and she's like this and you see the light kind of like shining through behind her. Very just, uh, just, just has that very cool presence. I mean, she's just, she has, she's truly her, her, her own unique self and that's what I love about it, you know? Truly, truly unique. Um, she comes down a long staircase with her arms outstretched. That's what I was uh, trying to reference. Um, like a vampire. She's dressed like a boy. After singing, she returns to the back of the stage into a uh, rhythmic walk and goes away with it to another staircase behind the stage and then enters again into a grave. The stage is hidden by the spotlights facing upwards. So there you have it. Very, very dark. It's so dark. You can't even, you can't even see the... Uh, the um, 
the, the, the people playing the instruments, you know, playing instruments. And on that note, by the way, on that note, lots of keyboards, lots of drums, guitars, the bass was good. Um, the synths, you, you hear it all there. You hear it all. Clarity, thanks to this um, confidential remaster. Um, and not only one Patreon subscriber recommended me this, several, several did. Uh, they were interested in seeing my my reaction from from back then, from back because you have to think about it. I've been doing a lot of updated live stuff. I haven't seen any old me then, you know. So this is a truly a first, truly remarkable to be seeing her in this fashion. I'm glad I did, glad I did. So let me know down below what you guys think of this one. Uh, do you want me to continue the Milan Confidential concert uh, uh, remastered version? And I'll keep doing it. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Just let me know. Let me know down below. I would love to hear what you have to say, guys. This is going to get my approval. This is going to get my approval. I love it. I love it. Most definitely. Until next time for more videos like these, please leave your comments and suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Take care. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Peace.